Hi, I'm State Senator Terry Bonoff. Thanks for tuning in. A highlight this week has been Daphne Kohler. Daphne Kohler, a Stanford professor, is the founder of Coursera. Coursera puts on MOOCs. MOOCs are massive, open, online courses where more than 2 million people are taking advantage of this worldwide. Many, many countries, people are participating in this. This opens up the question, what is the future for higher ed if this is available? So we in Minnesota took a look at it, and the first thing we discovered is that we had a law on the books that actually precluded us from participating. So Jeremy Miller, senator from Winona, offered a law to remove that prohibition. Now, level playing field, we can participate. You may have seen yesterday the University of Minnesota announced they were going to offer classes taught by their professors on this MOOCs platform. We're excited about where this leads. One of the things that we're interested in exploring is how we can allow our young people to get credit for this so it actually can make a difference in lowering the overall cost of attending college and helping to increase our graduation rates. A couple other exciting things this week. I had a bill up in education that actually passed, which was to say that our language immersion teachers would have a 36-month exemption from passing the basic skills test. This is a situation whereby we recruit teachers from other countries to come and speak and teach in their own language. And then we put a barrier last year in front of them that says, yet they have to pass a very rigorous test in English in order to be doing this. That doesn't make common sense. So last year, we had a one-year exception. This year, I offered a bill that said they would have an additional 36 months to work this out. There are other discussions at the Capitol looking at this overall policy because this has affected many teachers in ways that we didn't anticipate. So stay in tune for that, but hopefully at least we've taken care of for the short term our language immersion teachers. We're so proud of our districts who are offering this outstanding program. Lastly, just wanted to again address the Hollydale issue. We put a bill in today that actually put forward a proposal that said if there's an alternative option. Instead of putting in those big 115K voltage lines, if there's an alternative to that that works, which would be a distribution solution, it's very complicated. I'll tell you more about it later. But if that alternative exists, then in fact, that's what has to be done. So we'll see how that is received. And uh, again, I'll tell you more about that later. So read the rest of the update to find out what else happened. Thanks very much.